have sold video. We had six sales on eBay and one sale on Poshmark. So let's jump in and see what sold. First off on Poshmark, we sold a hoodie. It's just, uh, it's a uh, Clio hoodie zip up jacket. Um, this we just had pennies into came from the reseller that we bought out um, sold for $15 and our profit is about $10 and 50 cents Renee can pop a little picture up here about of the jacket I don't want to take it out of this bag again because I'm sure I wrestled with it pretty good to get it in the bag and it's a size 2x and then over on eBay, we had six sales overnight for a total of $134.41. And uh, first sale was a pair of socks. <laughs> um, if you're new, we have been selling a lot of socks lately. Uh, we picked these up at a sale for um battered women they had a big sale and they had a big bin of these so i bought a bunch at like 60 something cents a pair this pair sold for four dollars and fifty cents and the buyer is all in at 9.75 next up is some more anna lee i got a three three reindeer and a Santa. Um, the Anna Lees, we've been selling a lot of them lately. We picked up a big buy of these, uh, 50, 55 of them for $135. And we've sold well over half of them and we're way in the profit. These here sold for $32. Um, buyers all in at $42 and 20 cents. So we had about $2 and some change into each one of these. There's three in here, so that's six, seven, fifty. So it's about a $22 profit after all the fees and everything. And then the next item is this keyboard. It's a wireless keyboard with a mouse. It's brand new. Let's see if I can get it to open up here. Brand new in the box. I think this is kind of one of those keyboards that comes with a computer. So the person that bought the computer probably got their own keyboard that they liked better and instead of using this one. Picked this up in an estate sale on the last day so everything was half off so I paid two dollars and fifty cents for this and it sold for twenty dollars buyers all in at thirty one fourteen so about a fifteen dollar profit after fees and everything and let's move on to another Anna Lee it's just this little Santa and he is Got a little pin in his back so you can wear him on your shirt or whatever. Again, we had about $2 and some change into this. It sold for eight, buyers all in for $13.44. So this one's not a huge profit, but we bought them all and we're only making a couple of dollars off of this one. Still more than doubling our money on it, but uh, and the next item is a Department 56. We picked up a huge sale of these, or a huge lot of these. Um, we have about $5 a piece into them. We are well into the profit. This one is the Blue Star Ice Harvesters. And this is what they look like. It's just some little figurines to go onto your big display. 
These sold for $15.99. The buyer's all in at $20.66. And last item is a gibbet. So I haven't sold a gibbet in a while, but this one sold for six or six dollars. We bought thousands of these. If you don't know what a gibbet is, it's the little charm that goes on top of your Croc shoes, goes inside of the um, little holes on top of the Crocs so you can spice up your shoes, I guess. <laughs> but um, these are paid six. We paid a dime, they paid six, and they're all in for $11.22. So we get Renee to put a picture up here. This is a uh, VHS auto rewinder. Um, picked it up at a thrift store for $4 minus 40%. It was on a 40% off sale. So 40% off of $4 is $2.40 is what I paid for it. Buyer bought it for $19.90 and is all in with the shipping at $31.24. And it was listed for less than a week. So VCR rewinders, it's also it still has the box with it, but um, VCR rewinders, they do sell. They sell pretty good. Uh, so if you can pick them up for a couple of bucks at garage sales or thrift stores or somewhere, it's a real good bread and butter. All right. And we'll be back later. All right, guys. Welcome back. It is now Thursday morning, and we have eight more items going out for a total of $271.61 on eBay. Let's jump right into it. First off, got a... Another pair of socks, Bombas socks, sold for $4.50, buyers all in for, I can't read it, Ten oh six. And then we have a couple of gibbets that sold. First one was this Jasmine Disney Princess gibbet. And it sold for $6.99. Buyers all in at $12.49. And then we had this little guy, little chipmunk. Right there. And he sold for $13. Buyers all in at $17.50 for the chipmunk. Then we had a, a pretty good sale here. I'm not sure how much we paid for this one. I believe it was $5. I'm not 100% sure. It's an AT&T cell phone, or cell phone, home phone system. A lot of these systems, if you pick them up, are really good. So still all brand new in the packaging inside there. And it sold, this one sold, we picked this up at an estate sale, I believe, I'm pretty sure. But it sold for $75 and the buyer's all in at $90.29. So that was a good one. All right, guys, I'm back. It's still Thursday morning. Uh, while I was packing up the stuff I just showed you, had another sale come in for some socks. Had three more pairs. I think this may be the last three pairs we got of large. We have a lot of mediums left. Um, they sold for $4.50 a piece, so that's $13.50. And the buyer selected for them to go priority. I guess they're trying to get them before Christmas. And they're all in at 2802 with taxes and everything. 
So I'm gonna get these shipped out real quick. I'm trying to get everything to people before Christmas if they were planning on getting it before Christmas. So here we go. And we had another little doggy reflective raincoat with a fleece type insert um, little sweater vest type thing. This one sold for $11.50 and the buyer's all in at $15.89. And then we had a, a brooch sale. A little Christmas brooch. It's a Santa. Go focus in on it there. Christmas brooch. It's a vintage Christopher Radko Christmas Santa Claus brooch. And he sold for $32.50. Buyers all in at $41.24. Then my last video game from my church sale buy paid two dollars I picked up four games this is the last one and it sold for $13.99 um, buyers all in at $15.14 so anything with Mario on it is gonna sell just go ahead and pick it up uh, and what, then last we have three rings that sold. Let me go ahead and pull them out for you. They're, all three of them are Bars Bars rings B-A-R-S-E and we took an offer on all three of them because they went to the same buyer. We had them listed for $25 a piece. They offered $20 a piece and we accepted that so they paid 60 I gave them a shipping discount and they're big pretty big pretty big rings my mouth's not working yet it's early in the morning and here's the last one so all three of them were $60 $20 a piece I gave them a shipping discount sent them an invoice and they're all in at $69. So that's all of the sales for today. So far today, it's early still. And I'm gonna get these done and out to the post office so I can go back to work. I'll see you in the morning. Stay tuned. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm back. It is now Friday morning. You can tell that Christmas is getting close because sales are starting to slow down just a little bit. Um, we only got three items going out today that sold overnight for $152, or 100, for $52.81. I'm going to run through them real quick and we will get them packed up and shipped out. First, we got a gibbet that sold, a little. Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus, Croc Shoe Gibbet, uh, sold for $6. We got about 10 cents into it. <clears throat> and buyers all in at $11.10. Then we have another dog coat. It's a little doggy rain coat. New with tags, size medium from the buyout we did of a pet supply store so a little doggy raincoat comes with a little bag to keep it in new with tags and it sold for five dollars and 25 cents not sure how much we had into this whole thing but it is we're completely in the profit on these. And the 
buyer paid $9.16 all in. And then the last sale was <clears throat> this little perfume bottle, hand blown. There's the little pontal on the bottom with a stopper, glass stopper. <clears throat> and we picked this up at a, a live auction. You got a whole box of perfume bottles kind of like this. And um, I think we paid like maybe 15, 20 bucks for the whole bottle. This bottle here sold for $20, buyers all in at $32.55. So that's it for today. I'll show you some more tomorrow, and then maybe we'll be closing out this video. But stay tuned. See you in just a second. Hey guys, I'm back. It's Monday morning. I'm going to show you what sold over the weekend, get it packed up, and get it out to the post office. We had 12 sales on eBay and two on Poshmark. So let me go ahead and get into what it was so we we'll start out on Poshmark we sold a bra it is a brand new saloon bra push-up bra um, we bought out a or we bought a bunch of bras and panties from another reseller who doesn't do clothing <clears throat> for right out a dollar a piece this one sold for $13 on Poshmark so that means our sale, our earnings is going to be about nine dollars minus the dollar, so we're profiting about eight dollars on that. And then second, I have this hoodie that I'm not going to pull out of this bag because I don't want to fight with it to put it back in. But it's a Key Largo hoodie, jacket, zip up. Um, <clears throat> it sold for twenty dollars. This is another one of those items that we picked up from the reseller that we bought out and we maybe have a penny or two into it. So our earnings are $16 on this. So basically $16, $15.98, something like that. And then we'll go over to eBay. eBay, we had 12 sales over eBay over the weekend for $397.54. First off, we sold a plush, a little alligator. He's a uh, Lou Rankin friend's plush. We've had him for a little while. I think we paid maybe a dollar for him from the Goodwill or something like that. But he finally sold for $10.99 plus shipping, buyers all in at $21.64. Next we sold another uh, Cricut part. This is um, the Wavy Blade. Another one of those blades for the Cricut. I think we had about a dollar or so into this. And it sold for $8.99 plus shipping. Buyers all in at $14.29. This sold on promoted listings also. So our profits are seven, probably about four or five dollars. Next is this Lamp Burger. I'll have Renee put it. Let me see if I can get it out of here easily. It's a little oil lamp. I have no idea how it works, but that's it. And it sold for $39.80 plus shipping. We paid 
$4.80. It did sell promoted listings. Um, and the buyer's all in at $63.34. I'm not sure where it's going to yet, but must be a long ways. And let me get it back in the box so I don't lose any of the parts. I'm also going to have to wrap that up inside the box a little bit to keep it from bouncing around. And then we sold another Department 56. So I was starting to think we were right at the end of selling these for this year. But it's the Chelsea Market Hatmonger Cart. There we go. And it sold for $13. <clears throat> Buyers all in at $22.63. Oh, we paid five bucks for each of these, but we bought a bunch of them. And there's a few like this that aren't worth a lot, but we're just getting our money back, maybe making a dollar or two. But a majority of them we're making really good profit on. And then we got one that I forgot to pull. I'll show you that one at the end. Then I have this Clarisonic replacement charger. We picked up a Clarisonic machine and it had two chargers in it. So I tested them both, they both worked. So I sold a charger by itself sold this for ten dollars <throat> and the buyers all in at sixteen twenty six and then we have doo -doo -doo, a big maple leaf serving bowl this is a better homes and garden maple leaf serving bowl winter Christmas Thanksgiving type thing uh, we paid $3.99 for it at the Goodwill, and it sold for $25 plus shipping. Buyers all in at $41.10. And let's see, got a few more here. Oh, this is one of my favorites. So it's a Fitz and Floyd bookend set, the Cat Electric Shock. Here's one of them. So the cat's got his little tail stuck in the light socket. And then here's the other one. Got his tail stuck in a mouse trap. Oh. So that's the bookends. We paid $35 for those. We picked those up when we were on our New Orleans trip and we were out sourcing at some local thrift stores and stuff. Paid $35. They sold for $90. Buyers all in at $112.93. So pretty good little profit. Probably about a $50 profit. Then we have a Hallmark Keepsake Christmas Ornament. It's Home Sweet Home. Looks like a little gingerbread house. We bought a whole bunch of these for $10 at a garage sale. This one sold for eight. We've sold quite a few so far. This one sold promoted listings also. And the buyer's all in at $13.35. And then another item I didn't oh I did pick it so this item it's a vintage gold tone painted acrylic jewelry trinket box it's already all wrapped up um this sold once before so that's why it was sitting in here and then they canceled the order and then it sold again for $14.97, buyers all in at $25.76. Maybe Renee can put you a little picture of it up here. And then we have 
a sunglass case, just an empty sunglass case. Costa Del Mar. Picked up a couple of these. They were in a free box at a garage sale. So we just grabbed them out of the free box and it sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Buyers all in at $16.44. <clears throat> And then we have these sharper image um, what are these things headphones <laughs> so wireless headphones to connect to your TV so you can watch TV while somebody's sleeping next to you Renee's going to have to put up how much we spent on these. I believe it was 3 or $5. Sold for 19 Buyers all in at 30 35 And then I have one more order to go pick real quick, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Last item. Another little s'mores uh, Christmas ornament. These things sell pretty good if you see them around pick them up um, $13 sold for $13 I think we probably paid a dollar for it excuse me and the buyers all in at 1945 with shipping and taxes and everything so that's it going out this morning I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here if you like this kind of stuff I'd ask you to give us a subscribe Hit the little bell notification so you know when we put out videos we try to put out two or three four videos a week um <clears throat> thumbs up like it and hopefully i'll see you again before christmas but if i don't merry christmas bye guys all right guys so while I was packing everything up, we did have one more sale. Sold on Macari. It's a vintage makeup travel luggage thing. Sold for $17. And we'll be making uh, about $14.50 off of it. Um, not sure how much Renee paid for it. She can put that there or here or somewhere. But that's all. I'm going to pack it up, ship it out. See you guys.